I'm about to show you the best gun tight defense in Madden 23. It's not even close. I actually think this is the best coverage defense in Madden this year um, for a lot of different reasons. It can stop a lot of the concepts that you're going to be facing online. It can stop a lot of the flood concepts. Super, super effective uh, concepts here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into our coaching adjustments. We're going to turn our auto alignment to base. We're going to turn our zone coverage to match. Those are the only coaching adjustments required. And we're going to be taking a look at the big nickel over G in the 46 defensive playbook. The 46 defensive playbook, big nickel over G defense. Um, my personal favorite defense probably, uh, just in terms of like what you can do with it from a coverage perspective, super effective. And uh, the play we're going to be going over today is going to be the cover two uh, out of the big nickel over G. Now, the setup for this is actually extremely, extremely simple. We're going to show blitz. Now, notice real quick the safeties. I don't know why EA has not fixed this yet, but they still go all over the place. Okay? No big deal. Okay? No big deal. Here's how we're going to play this. So, what we're going to do is we are going to take the safety on the short side of the field, which in this case is going to be John Lentz, and he's going to go into an outside third. We're then going to take the uh, safety over here uh, and we're going to put him into a outside third as you can see then what i like to do is pinch my line you can crash it out if you want to and we're going to take this defender and put him in a middle third this core little system here uh quickly on abilities if you have knockouts at the key spots this guy right here i really like to have jalen mills or James Bradbury there with mid zone knockout, flat zone knockout, and pick hardest. I think those three abilities together really make it hard to throw at this vertical hook. Now, the other thing is if you have deep out zone knockout and flat zone knockout on these two guys on the outside, it also helps significantly with coming up and stopping those flat routes for negative yardage or knocking the ball out completely. And then lastly, on these safeties, I really recommend deep out zone knockout. You could put mid zone knockout on these guys as well, uh, but I think mainly just deep out zone knockout is fine. And then you're going to send four. Now, the key with the sin four is sin four will get you significantly better sheds than sin three will okay sin four will get you significantly better sheds than sin three here so a great concept great zone beating concept here to the left side one of the best year in and year out you're going to notice the pressure is going to get there before that corner out can even get a chance to get open over the top so that's another really key piece to the defense is the sheds that you get when you send four, like I said, are much, much better than when you send uh, when you send uh, three. Now, the one thing that you can beat you is this little seam streak. The reason we like to show blitz is because it, I can blitz these guys, right? We can put ourselves in position to send pressure. So what we want to do is always kind of help carry this. And then, you know, now they give that guy enough time to get back into the middle of the field. Now, another way that you can set the same basic defense up, but a little bit differently, is what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of dropping this guy in the outside third, we're going to drop this defender in an outside third, and then we're going to actually blitz this player right here. Now, what this means is we're going to go ahead and play hard flat coverage on the left side, and we're going to send five. Now, um, the beauty of this defense is you're going to roll the coverage, but you yourself are responsible for the flat to the right. So if someone goes to the flat, you have to take that as a user defender. The beauty of this coverage defense is it's going to look the same every single time, um, which is super important because we're base aligned, we're show blitz, everything always looks the same. It's one of the most underrated parts, I think, of defense, you're in and you're out. But also, in terms of user responsibility, your primary responsibility is for this kind of little box here from the left side of the screen. So you can kind of help and then roll here, and then by the time anything's going to come open, oftentimes you're getting a shed. I really want to emphasize the fact that sending four is going to get you significantly better sheds than sending five, three. I'm going to blitz my user, and I'm going to bluff blitz this nose tackle. And what you're going to notice here is because of the new abilities and stuff in the game, you don't always get as good of sheds as if you sent four. If you send four, you're almost always guaranteed they're going to shed within two seconds, 
and are likely going to be able to stop some of the deeper, longer developing routes. So you just have to cover for a little bit to get the pressure. That's the key to defense every year. Um, I find that this four-man rush is also really good against play action. You almost always get these quick instant sheds on the outside, and it, a lot of people like to run play action this year. So this defense, the simple coverage defense, you can also pair it with a really nice pressure. So what I like to do from a pressure perspective is let's say I want to send the heat. What we're going to do is we're going to play hard flat coverage on the outside, and then we're going to deep half this. Um, if I can find the right adjustment here, we're going to deep half to the left that safety over there. And then what I like to do is go ahead and middle third here, especially against compression. Now what I'm going to be able to do is I know my pressure is going to be guaranteed, right? So all I have to do is just jump the flat on the right. So we may do something like this. I like to actually, you could even put a mid read out here and maybe even a bluff blitz. But if they block the running back, this is still going to guarantee your pressure, as you can see right there. Super, super good, super effective. So you want to go in between the sin four and really I think the sin six. Um, I think the sin six is super good. If you want to just send three um, and really play good on that backside there, you could do something like this right here where we're only sending three, but we have a ton of coverage over there on the right. So if they run the flat, we just go over here and you see we're guaranteeing pressure off the edge. Big nickel over G I think is the best uh, defense for guaranteed pressure, right? It's going to come in when you send it. Um, and you're going to play really good coverage out of it because you not only have this coverage defense, but you also have a ton of different match coverages. You have cover two man. Um, you have cover two seam. Cover two seam, super underrated coverage here. Uh, you know, you could run this. If you wanted to do something like, let's say we wanted to do something like this where we kind of roll, roll a cover three, if you will, like so, um, and kind of, you know, have a little bit of an extra coverage option over here on the left side you can do all kinds of stuff with this defense this defense to me has the most covered versatility in the game because even though you're even though it's a four down lineman set you have so many different coverage variations that you can do with big nickel over g it's almost limitless what you can do so if you want to learn my entire big nickel over g defense we teach uh it's i've had it out since i think the very first day the game came out this year it's been probably my favorite defense all year um, even though it's, I'm not necessarily going to say it's been the most meta defense, but it's a really, really solid defense, especially if you take the time to understand how coverage works, it's going to have you playing Madden a lot better. So if you want to get my entire big nickel over G off defensive guide, the link is down in the description. Join the Patreon 10 bucks. We'll get you access to everything in the Patreon, including the big nickel over G. Thanks for watching. Head down to the description and go check out the Patreon, please.